37. Which reagents are most suitable for the following transformation? So let's start here. What happened? We started with an alkene. Then we formed an alkyl halide. Where did that bromine add? It's going to be important because we're trying to see does this follow Markovnikov's rule or does it not? Well, looking at these carbons, it added to the least substituted position. So I know that the first reagent has to follow anti-Markovnikov's rule. So looking at our answer choices, I know that HBr is not true, that's wrong, because that follows Markovnikov's rule, and instead this portion would have been this, the bromine would have added to the more substituted carbon. Right there, I can eliminate two options. Moving on to this next step, I have an alkyl halide, and I formed an alkene, I'm doing elimination. But where did this alkene form? Did it form as the Hoffman product or Zaitsev's product? Well, this is alpha. There's a beta proton there, beta proton there. This would have been the more substituted position where our electrons move here and we would have had a double bond there. But that's not the option. So I know that I must use a bulky base to be able to have the Hoffman product, which is this. So the only bulky base option is this one. Our answer is D.